Well, here he is, Abraham Lincoln. No, I'm sure that's Abraham Lincoln. I know he looks really different here. He doesn't have his famous beard, and he's very young here. This is the beginning of his political career. He wouldn't grow his beard for years. Now remember I told you that Abraham Lincoln was a lawyer. Now today, if you want to be a lawyer, you've got to go to school for years and years and years and years and pass some pretty hefty exams. And you still had to pass exams in the 1830s, but you didn't necessarily have to go to law school. Most lawyers didn't go to school. They would study with a practicing attorney, read books and study for years until they were able to take their exam. Well, Abraham Lincoln didn't even do that. He borrowed books and he bought books at auction. Now he studied on his own for three years and finally passed his law exams and became a lawyer on March 1st, 1837. It was shortly after that that he moved from New Salem, Illinois to Springfield, Illinois. Now this was an important move because it was in Springfield where he met and then married Mary Ann Todd. Now here's a picture of Lincoln, the way you probably think of him, with a beard but no mustache. Okay, now you want to know about the beard? Lincoln grew that beard at the advice of an 11-year-old girl named Grace Bedell, who said his face was too thin and a beard would make him look better. Well, Lincoln thought that was a pretty good idea. So while running for president in 1859, he grew a beard. And I don't know if it was because of the beard or not, but in 1860, Abraham Lincoln was elected the 16th president of the United States of America. The first president, by the way, to have a beard. He was inaugurated on March 4th, 1861. Now, inauguration is when the elected president officially becomes president by being sworn in. 